Rose petal bubble snails spend most of their day burrowed in the sand, which can make them difficult to see. So if you visited the rocky shores during the day at low tide, you'd be more likely to see other creatures and not rose petal bubble snails. You might see nudibranchs, feather sea stars, young eels, a slate pencil urchin, an apricot sea slug, or different kinds of rock pool fish, for example. But if you want to see a rose petal bubble snail, you're more likely to find one late in the afternoon, at night, or early in the morning on a rising tide, hunting for small marine worms and mollusks to eat. They use their wedge-tailed head shield to search for prey just under the sand and a nose-type structure called a rhinopore to determine if what they have found is suitable to eat. Remember to subscribe and if you liked this video, give it the thumbs up.